fundament that Andrew Oles can't really do no business with um with China too deep. Zin? Yeah, why? China are allies with Russia. Zin? China are ally with Russia. Now, if you notice, Vladimir Putin are allies with Venezuela. If you notice since the war start, him sent two planes down a Venezuela. We travel two times the speed of light. To all the plane them fast, them have to have three parachutes on the back of the plane them when them are land. Why him send them to plane there down a Venezuela? Because it's closer to America for him to attack. Now, Andrew Oles jump up and I want Putin. Why you think Andrew do that? Because Fimbas is America. Me tell you now, really, say, Andrew Oles is being held by the balls by America because of problems with him have in you know, the money laundering thing where him name call, Darrell Devaz name call, the one where they run the bank where have to resign name call, a couple Jamaica Labour Party member are involved in our one big money scheme. Hungary reason why Andrew never get lock up is because Andrew is the immediate prime minister and they cannot um cannot take away the immediate prime minister's visa. That's why Andrew that figure so hard to buy out the last election because if him did become out of power, out of office, then America can now put you up as a criminal and have you under proper investigation take away your visa. So, please, pay attention. See? So now, that's why Jamaica was so important to the ambassador of the United States of America. Because if Jamaica was to become allies with Russia or China, then China can now put them tanker, send them warship, put them tanker, put them nuclear, put whatever here so when we are only one hour and 25 minutes away from the United States of America. We are only one hour and 25 minutes away from one of the sexiest cities in America, which is Miami. Now, the United States of America cannot afford that. That's why Obama was here. That's why Obama came to Jamaica. That's why Obama gave $80 million for what we don't know and do a bag of survey and a bag of thing. So people need to pay attention. But my thing is, if we'd have proper leaders, then we would have get the best benefit out of this agreement. Because if America got to tell we say, don't ally with China and don't ally with Russia, then why the fuck on the pressure Jamaican people so when it comes to visa? Why on the disrespect Jamaican people so when it comes to deportation? Why on the disrespect Jamaican people so when them go up on a dirty embassy to get one visa? On a treat we like shit. If I saw Jamaica important to on the protection, Turn Jamaica in a, a province of the United States of America. Make we a legal state like how to make Puerto Rico, like how to make Hawaii, like how to make these places when are so important like Jamaica. Because Jamaica is right on the footstep. If we side with an enemy, we don't have a problem. So why not make Jamaica a sovereign state of the United States of America? Una England work together. Tell England say, here what we are gonna do. We are gonna free up Jamaica and make them no need visa. Once they have Jamaican passport, they travel to America free and everything. Why do not do that? Since we so important too. No? Asking yourself that question then. Asking yourself that question, you know, people. Can you not think smart enough? Or you not realize what's going on, you know? Or you really not pay attention, you know? Jamaica is so important to America because we land a line with freedom country. Anybody we side with, we have nuclear America in a problem. But yet still them this way. Yet still them treat you like the biggest fast world them. 
How much Jamaican them deport on a daily basis? Oh, how much Thailand's people get an embassy? If we so important, we leaders need to stick up America. All right, you want we loyalty? Give us something. Give us something. Somebody said them now nah, go to that. Joshian. Listen to what me I say. Them want something from we. That's how you negotiate as a leader. See? That's how your 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 reason. That's how your dialogue. That's how you negotiate. Them want something. We have to get something. You understand? They want our loyalty and want our, our, our water and our ear space. That way I deal it. That way I deal it. That way I deal it. You understand what I say? So if we not get that done, where, 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 where we are all hardened for America for? Why we are all hardened for America? Make could think about it. Make could think about it, no? Where we are all hardened for America for? Why we not for bargain with China? Why we not for bargain with Russia? Who no not cut with a slack? Jamaicans in America have to tread like nervous. As the simplest thing them deport you. But we depend on our country for protection. So why? We only need to be found enough to care about Jamaica. We only need to care if we, if, we, if we merge with the Chinese. I don't know if you care if we merge with Russia or anybody else to that matter. Because I don't know how to make a sovereign state. I don't know make Puerto Rico a sovereign state. And look how far Puerto Rico they found. So why Jamaica can't be a sovereign state? Why you can't say, yo, Jamaica good, man. If them have Jamaican passport and them think tough, them good. See them like Puerto Rico. What happened? What the problem? See them like Hawaii. Look how far Hawaii is there. I 11 hour flight to go Hawaii, you know? I want to make them sovereign state. And I want to 25 minutes go to Jamaica. I don't know why I make we a sovereign state. Because I don't like we. You understand? I don't like we. It's just the truth. I don't like we like that. I don't just know why. We give up. We land space and we hear space for them and them bam out over this blood clot. But we don't care about we. We don't know the man we dead off. Who do the mind with dead half, you know? America would have mind Jamaica dead half. You understand? Them would have mind Jamaica dead half. But at the same time, them want to secure a safe passage. Them don't want to let in them enemy to give in a strength, because they're afraid of that. But them don't want to give in a glory. Them don't like Jamaican. People in America believe them don't like Jamaican. Them not like we boy. You understand? Them not like we boy. Now we just face the reality. Asian and Jamaican are the most hated Caribbean people in America. Them not like we and them not like the Asian them. I may say that without apology. We're there because we are trying to make it. And I over here them have the whole of the money cloak up. And then when you have like America papers, the whole place free up. You can travel go whole for places. If we was a sovereign state, and we know so we don't need a visa to go to America, a Jamaica would have lived. Half of who live boy, I wouldn't live boy. So some man that about nobody wouldn't live for Jamaica. You mean so much away wouldn't in America. So much away wouldn't in America. Because I love Jamaica. I love Jamaica, but the little puppet government down there. As you open your mouth and talk, them slap on your visa. Make you stuck down there, then them send police come kill you. Or a gunman come kill you. When you're there in America now, you're there far from them. Them, not, them police jurisdiction not work over your son. And when you have the American paper, the Jamaican embassy can call and tell us if you take away your thing, that if you take away your boy, yes, son. So some of not understand the deeper mathematics of why. Not for Jamaican, they migrate. 
and straighten out themselves, boy, you can't order for the Jamaican government, Klu Klux, yeah, and dash away. You see what they might try to do to act here now? I saw them stay. Use media and police and tricky and Klu Klux yeah, and kill you. Don't have Jamaica, so you think, half it tough. You have to smart. You have to use the system to beat the system. You understand? But if we was a sovereign state, if Jamaica was a sovereign state, enough man would have there Jamaica and live them life. I want to tell you. see what Puerto Rican and them do. Them not, them not have to stay about you. Puerto Rican and them live in a them place and come to America when they feel like I'm go home. So much Jamaica and them live over here. Living is different from... Most people, if you ask them why you live America, that then why you live America? Come on, a better life, more can move and go everywhere more and go. Then I saw, I saw, I that I reason, and I like them, they like Jamaica. I'm not going to tell you, oh, I hate me, hate Jamaica, dog. I hate what going to happen to them, than a Jamaica. Right now, just check it. 90% of the active DJ them, they are foreign. I have green card. I look both to get them green card. Why? Why? Because Jamaica always a call people them and I take with them visa and stop them down at Jamaica and mash up them life and then send police to antagonize them because the place smaller you can't go away. Look what them do to Bunty and Beanie. Look what them do to Bunty and Beanie. Two biggest product them, Nana Visa. Look how much artists don't they know Nana Visa. Because the embassy style when them feel like, run when them feel like, give a visa when them feel like. If it was a sovereign state, that can't happen. So you would have look into it and I say, hey, you know, I reach Sizzler, them reach me, you know. I don't want to reach Bunty and Beanie, reach me, I fix my thing. I think I eat them here Jamaica. We don't want we don't want to live on a foreign and a and a, and a, and a, and a day in our place. We want a day in our place. But we have to smart. Cause they trick you and kill you. Jamaican government trick you and kill you. When you can't move and them know say so you're dead so you live. You have to pay like Billy, you have a name for land title. You see me? Them know your yard. Them send police come kill you. And them send them gunman friend them come kill you. Just because you attack for the people. But when you can move all over the world, then can't study you. Them don't know where you're there. Them databases are run different. And you're not a wanted man. See? You're not a wanted man. So like them can't send FBI or Interpol no information for you as no wanted man. And you have to have certain clearance to go in a certain country database and get information. Worse when you are permanent resident or citizen after country, then they can't ask nothing about you. So they can't follow you up because you elude them. So that make enough people they are America. And I like them, they like Jamaica. And the dirty, corrupt, wicked government system where they We work with police and gunmen for kill you. Because you talk the truth. They yeah, don't have Jamaica as a star. All this thing for you get a license gun. All this thing for you get a license gun. People want to kill you. Boop, you pick up an illegal gun. Boop, police start. Lock up, charge. Boom, jail, prison. Mash up your career. When all you do is try to stay alive. Why you wouldn't get an entertainer or a public figure license gun? Why? Because you want to style them. Because you want to send gunmen to this them. Or send police to box them down and them something. You understand what I say? So, as I say, people, we have to understand the bigger levels of the politics. Jamaica is a, a spot where important to America. Because anybody take over Jamaica, land space and air space can, can touch America. Bam! So America have to secure Jamaica at any cost. But because we leaders them so licky licky, them don't know how to bargain with America properly to benefit the country. You understand? The next thing I'm going to show you now, right? I've been to Dubai, right? 
I've been to Abu Dhabi. I've been to a couple of places where I opened my eye to how dumb our leaders have been over the years. And when I say leaders, I talk about Labour right and PNP. Dubai are the first I opened. See? Exactly. See, my boy saying how much things they talk about we are on to now. I talk about them people now. Listen. Watch this now. First time I go to Dubai. See? When I check out at the airport, so I go through security. And them time they don't even have green card yet. Them time they don't have a parole I travel with. I travel upon a thing named parole. So when me go so boom now. Okay, yes. Yeah. When me go so now, boom. And go through security. And I walk outside if you go to the vehicle. When you walk outside, they have some man in a some jacket suit now. Where they're a businessman. Them own investment company. So, me don't even know how oh, one of them sister may have on a Rolex watch. The man said that from way out. The man said, hey, nice watch you have. Nice Rolex. That's the presidential blah, 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 blah. And I said, so brother, where you see that? And the man said, oh, um, welcome to Dubai. And he said, we are investment company. And I said, he must say you want to buy land or open business up. I said, in at the airport, brother. Man, I try to scam me in at the airport. I'm not jacket to, uh, what about 10, 15 of them? So, I said, how oh, can I sign this? I went me going to the car now. I said to my driver. And the promoter said, all oh, them money. Alex Pross, big up yourself. May I say, all oh, them man here, I approach me about buy land and buy. I scam of them and they say, no. It's country policy that anybody, listen to this in the people, listen to this carefully. It's country policy that any investor that's coming from outside of Dubai trying to open business in Dubai, you have to have to par partner with a Dubai citizen. Somebody will ban there. Meaning, if you want to start selling a buckle here down there, you cannot open a business selling buckle without your partner with Smaddy where live here. Red a madman, red a crackhead, red a what the, you have to partner with Smaddy where live there. And them, I forget 60% of the business, and you get 40. Do you hear what I just said? Do you understand what the fuck that means? You know, people and I tell people I tell me this. You know, me, God on them, I experience this myself. So all of them big business there where you see Burger King, KFC, Bugatti, Lamborghini, the whole of them two of them down there, them have to own it with a Dubai citizen. So when you see them man in at the airport now, I bring investment thing to you. The people them down at Dubai set up agents where deal with all of the process they feel. So that them in at the airport are that legitimate business and a scam them and try to scam nobody. But if you come to buy land and own business and them something, you have to partner with somebody from Dubai. So me think it's a Dubai thing alone. Me think it's a Dubai thing alone, you know. So that's why, alright, say me I buy that shoes here. Say me I buy that shoes here in America for $60. So me go down to Dubai $120 feet. Dubai is very expensive people. If I buy this for $65 US, I guarantee I'm going to Dubai a hundred and twenty US feet. A hundred and ten or hundred dollars. See? Holy Padoram for that. Reason why whosoever own the business, 
I feel mark up the price them. So that's him can actually see profit. Because the person who partner with them do by all get a big percentage of money. Eliza, I who that? Eliza Johnson. So understand what me I said B. Yeah, but when I say Dubai wealthy now, understand how Dubai become wealthy. Because that way I know the citizens of Dubai are always going to be wealthy. Because you were coming to the rich business of a partner with somebody there. Now, Jamaica, uh, before me reach Jamaica, I didn't think of Dubai alone of the regime there. Or Dubai alone of the policy there. But one night, I watch a movie again. And I still say I watch a movie. And I realized so one place named Fuck It, P H U K E T, which is an island of the same policy. You cannot go to Fuck It and own anything after just going there. You can't just go into them country with your money and say, oh, I'm going to buy this store and I'm going to open this store. You're mad. You have to partner with Smuddy from Fuck It or else Fuck It. How oh, long Jamaica the number one tourist destination in the world? How oh, long B investment have come? Porsche have building down there now. BMW have business down there. Um, the amount of places, the amount of company will come up business at Jamaica and them just get up and open business. Them not have to partner with nobody. Why we can't have that regime there? Why? Why we can't have that regime there? But don't have Dubai and I meet a youth who own business and the man who him partner with you know, a junkie. You know? The man who him partner with you know, know nothing about business. The man just have a representative. Him the businessman just find a representative. Put the business on him and the name and make sure that man they get him cut. The man business associate. Just make sure say, the man who partner with get him cut. The man who partner with no know nothing. Every month him just get money. Every month him just get money. Him don't know where he get money for now. Nothing. Because he's a, he, he a junkie. But he's a Dubai citizen born in Dubai. So, boom, that's how it work. Why Jamaica as the number one tourist attraction all along? Where people are investing in our country like crazy. Why we can't have a system set up like that? Where if you are going to come to Bum and build business, boy, you have to partner with Jamaican. So that would make Jamaican citizens more entrepreneurs. Why? Look how much, look how much business come at Jamaica, come invest. The man them just come with their money, them are the boss, them, are, them not have to partner with nobody. Remember me telling the people, a whole part thing on the Nazi, on the Nazi look on you, see me? Nothing not hard in a Jamaica for do that. Create a policy for the people. So anybody that come open my business have a partner with a Jamaican citizen. You understand? People are not joke me I'm making up. Ever bless and a joke me I'm making up. You can go research it. You know? Remember when I talk, I really talk joke. You know? I really. I don't notice one time I used to in a talk mix up and in a people business. And I do them something again. Because I realize there's a bigger purpose. See? There's a bigger purpose to wake up the people. I'm in a business about who are fuck who and them something there. And I wish girl thief who for wig and them things there. That can't help me in my nation. I help me and black people. That 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 can help with. Some of them to follow up them thing there again. Not care about that mix up something. I them thing I want people for now. You see me? You cannot go to Dubai go open a business unless you partner with a citizen of Dubai. You cannot do it. Fuck it at the same thing. You understand what I say? Enough other countries to say why Jamaica can't set up a policy like that. Why Jamaica can't set up a policy like that? 
so Jamaican citizens can become entrepreneurs and more empowered to wealth. You make a man just come from where you were with the money, invest in our country, take out the money and gone. You're a madman. And look how much leader we have already. From the Michael to the PJ to the Porsche to the Bruce to the Andrew to the Bunting to the Golden. Nothing. Nobody never think about that. Them travel the world and them see how the world set up. I don't know pattern that. I don't even know what a pattern. If you have a pattern, so I don't think that you have a pattern. Look how Dubai is solid. Look how Dubai is a solid nation with wealth and everything. At them, you have a pattern, Bridging. At them, you have a pattern. At them, BFL pattern that you have to take up. But anyway, people, um, you know me, I got to do my review show over YouTube. So, everybody meet me over YouTube. Me can't stay over here no longer because after five, um, we will have a next discussion and next day. But then block me off for the next page from go live. So, that's why I'm here over here. So. Um, I'm going to go live on YouTube now So you can go over my YouTube Go subscribe Click the bell for notification uh, Yeah but remember I see them Arab them Run Qatar and Abu Dhabi And, and um, Dubai you now I said people them So I'm going to have the set policy Because I say you're going to become rich you can't make people come, come into your business And take away the well of your wealth And go on with it Anyway When you meet me over YouTube here the name Survivor Godcast S U H V Y V A G O D C A S T on YouTube. May I go over there and do a review show? It starts at 6 o'clock. Big up.